Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's you here. I know it has been a long time since my last video about Natasha Denona's pastel palette and I promised in my last video that I'm gonna follow up with more eye looks on pastel and also my final conclusions remarks on this palette however I got a side eye on the side of my eye this is my left eye on the inner corner and it got pretty bad very quickly for the first few days and I figured it's just best for me not to film and put on any makeup for uh, the days where it's not still not recovered and waiting for it patiently and almost a week have gone by and it's finally getting better as you can see there is not too much of a redness or you know puffiness on the inner corner here I guess it's almost you know recovered so yeah I, I have to just to have to hop online and give you guys some video content and today I'm not gonna talk about Natasha's pastel I will be filming that video tomorrow today is Sunday night I guess I'll just do something really relaxing like a will I buy it kind of a video because there have been a lot of new releases uh, from all kinds of brands and also we're at that time where Sephora is having its spring VIP sale event also Beautylish is having the having the gift card event so I have a lot on my list and on my you know that caught my eye for a very long time I also had some important news to share so if you're interested definitely keep on watching okay so for all the products I want to you know just talk about discuss about no matter it's new releases things that have purchased or I haven't I'm still you know hesitating deciding over uh, the first pile of products uh, which that I refer as exciting news is that I actually start to receive some PR packages from uh, all these Chinese makeup brands because I am a Chinese uh, content creator on major Chinese platforms for example red and also uh, the YouTube equivalent in China called Bilibili so I had a few opportunities to you know just negotiate and communicate with them and they're so nice and so friendly and you know so generous that they want to send me all these sets of products for me to try out however due to like ship shipping issues I probably need them uh, you know just uh, ship to some uh, just forwarding address in China and then from there they're gonna ship it to the US it's gonna take a long time and I haven't received any of them yet but I just uh, I just cannot contain myself my ex excitement over these and I just want to uh, briefly mention about what are the PR uh, packages I'm gonna be receiving so there's this brand called Red Chamber from China and they're doing all these clean beauty uh, a cool, uh, like really vegan kind of makeup products and they uh, have all these uh, multi-functional balms or you can call them creams uh, you have all all these single sh uh, shades and also some uh, curated eye quads but they're all creams uh, for your eyeshadow so I received some of those and I'm gonna try out those for red chamber and I also got some products from Timash. Timash is actually a brand that's associated with one of the most prominent Chinese makeup artists he's a, a male art makeup artist and he's so well known so respected and he has his own brand for this brand Timash, they uh, sent me all of their complexion products for example your concealers your primers your um, highlighter and also uh, uh, contouring products and I'm just very excited because it is probably relatively more professional among the Chinese brands because it is a makeup artist based one and I'm just very uh, you know kind of nervous to you know just uh, review for these because he is someone I really admire but I'm just so very excited and I also got several eyeshadow palettes from this look, uh, very indie brand still indie in China so you probably have never heard about it it's called Oddity and let me tell you this brand it's so unique it's like a unicorn in Chinese market because they do their eyeshadow palettes in these uh, five color like layout it's kind of similar to Natasha Denona's minis or the the you know the classic five color ones uh, they have this uh, plastic kind of a packaging 
but they do have their own you know creativity and also innovation i looked up all their information on taobao which is our number one shop shopping platform in china which is opened by jack ma uh the founder of alibaba and yeah they basically every brand including natasha denona all the other brands from other countries if they want to come to china they have to you know just promote it on taobao so uh it does have a lot of information for this indie brand they set up their pages they're so professional i think they have kind of like uh color theories and also uh you know just uh specialization in terms of like asian girl skin tones they have this theory I'll, i'm gonna show you screenshots although it's some some of them are in chinese but i'm trying my best to explain that to you so they curated six different eye little eye palettes here and i think each one has their very individual independent color story they even give a uh, very specific names uh, correspondingly in english as well so i guess the um, founder of this brand is probably having their uh, views and you know targeted uh, audience or customers uh, set up and high one day they might you know come to the western world of makeup who knows just like kaleidos and yeah i just really admire this little indie brand i'm I, I have to say i'm most excited to try out this brand and they're so generous because they're so so new and they just start, started they have six palettes released so far they sent me all and i'm just so very honored to have received all of those and the other brand is called head done and it's um like a uh, i guess a very relatively young and free-minded kind of a makeup brand they sent me their lip glosses i'm excited to try on those I mean opportunities come to find you no matter where you are and if you all have like a very open mindset it's just gonna come to you i'm so excited because on youtube i still haven't gained let's say 1k followers yet but i'm already gain gaining all these uh you know opportunities to try out products for free which is just the best part for me as a content creator and i love makeup just so much i just cannot describe how excited i am as of now the purpose of me describing and explaining all these pr stuff for you even though i haven't received them i there's you know shipping time and you know due to pandemic so i still i'm still waiting for them i promise i'll do an unboxing for all these chinese makeup brands of course i think you guys might be really interested i just want you guys to you know just be um i want to be upfront with you guys since day one because uh as of now i'm still doing pr only kind of a a car, uh, you know, col a collaboration with these brands. I'm not earning any commission fees or any sorts of, you know, payback in money, cash forms with these brands. The the most I can go uh, with them is to receive their products for free and do reviews to you guys. And I point out one stuff very importantly to every communication I had with these brands is that I'm gonna go ahead and say what I whatever I felt. I will be really honest. I will be kind of brutal, but I will also try to you know just. Uh, experience and you know explore these products in details and tell you guys about what's good about it and stuff and they're so you know generous and they great to my ideals they know this is my personal style so that's how the things are working here finally i'm starting to get pr products to try out for you guys for free i'm still keeping my style of doing honest reviews i'm gonna list out these products are special specifically sent to me for free and i'm so happy to announce those things now let's dive into stuff that i'm really looking forward to try out or to buy these days so actually there is a bunch of stuff that I already bought like uh, you cannot you know per persuade me back uh, it's a done deal it's like cooked fish so i already purchased them i have to try them out 
Uh, the first brand is still a Chinese brand, but it's quite well known here on YouTube or let's say like this uh, North American region or our European region. It's called Kaleidos, this makeup brand, and I ordered their newest uh, black jasmine eye quad, which is like all black smoky kind of AI quad. I also ordered their newest uh, lip uh, sticks. I think it's a matte lipsticks uh, in four new shades. And I also ordered their highlighters. I think highlighters are the products where uh, they made their fame into uh, this North, North American region of makeup world or European uh, makeup world and yeah I ordered two of those G05 which is cru um, space cruiser and M M02 which is gifted so these are the products I ordered from Kledos uh, I don't think I have you know enough fan base or enough influential power to for them to notice me so that i can receive something for free as a pr package but i mean it's no big deal like if if i haven't made it there i i just i will purchase it on on my own and try it out because i'm so interested and also order the chanel newest makeup i know why would a girl fall again again just for some packaging beautiful patterns here I am yet again so I bought the uh, Camila kind of embossing also sculptured kind of a highlighter if you saw that it's really really hyped up on Instagram I bought that I I need it in my collection because it's so special it's really beautiful I mean the structure of it the embossing of it I also purchased two of the other newest releases from Chanel. Um, I think there's one Iqua 384 uh, Imaginaire, which is like a peachy kind of eye color story. This is totally my vibe, so I had to get it. Plus, it's very popular among my Chinese subscribers, so I feel like I need to review this for them. And also, there, there's something that really caught my eye in this newest Chanel makeup uh, collection is that their highlighter, uh, whatever, it's like a pen. So there is like highlighter liquid in this little pen, and you can just dispense the liquid. And when you just uh, spread it out, it's gonna dry out, I guess, and it's really so celestial bright sparkly that you just have to you know try it out and I ordered two shades of them Eclat and also what's the other called it's something in French so I'm just gonna leave it here and I also ordered some newest uh, petite palettes from Vizier because for Vizier they uh, actually redesigned all of their fundamental like those uh, what they call slim pros they repackaged it into these petite palettes so i got my neutrals 01 i got my dark 04 and also cools 11 however this cool one they haven't shipped shipped it out to me yet and i wrote an email and they said that the next pile production is not done until march so actually this is back ordered i have to wait for this item i have to wait until the end of march so that this pile production is finished and then my cool palette will be sent out and next item I ordered is from Urban, Urban Decay. This is their Space Cowboy individual topper shade. You guys have no idea how popular this is in China, in my home country, and probably among Asian, Asian groups because this single eyeshadow, it has the super sparkly like diamond kind of a shine. And finally, we're into the section of should I buy it? should i do mm, just give kind of a vibe and i do need your feedback so if you are watching if you have watched till this point remember to give me feedback in the comments below okay the first set of products is from charlotte tilbury she yet again is gonna come out with another pillow talk collection i guess this time it's almost like the third generation of the P pillow talk i quad which is called pillow talk uh, dreams i think she has like a much more intense peachy and pinks in this newest quad and also one more topper shade to be honest i haven't got you know the original pillow talk shade um 
in the first place. So this whole concept is actually still very new to me. I don't have any pillow talk, nothing from Charlotte Tilbury. Can you believe that? Although everybody's like, oh my God, she's using this pillow talk stuff over and over again. But to me, it's still very so uh, new. And this time I'm actually tempted to just jump over the fence to try out the pillow talk collection, you know? And I just want to try out this little eye quad and I think they have this 4-in-1 uh, high shine kind of a highlighter and blush palette compact. I'm very not attracted to it because I because of the design. I think the design is kind of cheap. And I think for this newest Pillow Talk collection, they also have like a cream dual purpose for your lips and your cheeks. I think this is something old. It's nothing new. It came off like two years ago. So the only thing I want to get from this newest Pillow Talk collection is probably the Pillow Talk uh, Dreams eye quad. Together with that, I probably would purchase the original Pillow Talk eye quad as well. Who knows? You let me know. The next pile of products, Pomegranate. So yeah, they have the another you know collaboration with Bradgerton and this time this packaging whole design concept is even more dreamy princessy and it's it's almost like something I would lean towards when I was a little girl because it's so very dreamy it's all like a bow ties and uh, pink pink colors pink design heart shapedness all that stuff and for this this uh, second time collaboration they still have the six, six color eye quad uh, eye pen I'm sorry this eye pen Actually, to be honest, the color story doesn't attract to me that much. So I probably would uh, wait on that. But I'm really interested is their newest Satin Allure lipsticks. I don't know if Satin Allure is some new formulation, but first of all, I love the blue packaging of it. And then I really is tempted to try out the Satin Allure formula formulas. They have like seven new shades. I probably want to pick out like three of them to try try them out. And two other stuff, I think I'm really just don't know what to say. The first one is like a bakery dessert design, kind of a four-in-one blush and highlighter uh, compact that's put in like a jar, uh, but it's like a box jar, like a uh, paper paper box or paper board. Um, and I think it's a so like a little girl's makeover stuff. And I'm kind of, you know, backed off by like it's cuteness like it's just too cute and plus i have all the blush shades from uh, pomegranate so i will think about that and also have the body shimmers and this body shimmers it does come with like a puff and i think this is something so similar to something baby powder do you know that like when i was small i used to use baby powder for summer and the design of this paper like jar and also the puff like everything is similar and <laughs> I just don't know how to think about it. To be honest, I think from the swatches, the body uh, highlighter or shimmer is really beautiful, but I don't know if it's gonna be useful for me. I'm still thinking about it. The only thing I'm, I know for sure I'm gonna purchase is this lipstick, other stuff. Maybe you can let me know. And as for the next item, I'm really tempted to try the monochrosum, monochrosum or monochromatic palette from Hindash and since it's gonna be on Beautylish soon and Beautylish is having their gift card event where you purchase for uh, $100 of uh, products they're gonna give you $20 of gift card which is valid for a year for you to utilize I'm really tempted tempted to try out the Hindash's newest palette I mean I don't have the first generation which is like the Autopsy, autopsy? Um, hard for me to pronounce anyways and this one is like a pastel design and you see all these pastel colors with some earthy tone on the one hand I think it's probably some a kind of repetitive combining I have the newest Natasha Denona pastel and also the VZA's you know matte petite palettes 
But on the other hand, I really want to know what's different about his dash uh, formulations and his formulas because everybody seems to be raving about it. So I don't know. I probably would do, you know, do I would utilize the gift card event to purchase this palette because I just um very curious. And that's it, guys. That's everything I want to cover today about all the PR stuff I will be receiving, especially they are all Chinese made, uh, uh, makeup brands, except for the three INA is from Spanish. And also the stuff that I purchased, I'm gonna do reviews soon. And also my wish list. And I do need your help on my wish list, like which are the ones you think I, I should buy, which are the ones you think, eh, Maybe just skip that girl. Don't do it, girl. It's not worth it, girl. <laughs> like that. Let me know. Mm, uh, I hope you have a great, you know, Sunday night and also a great new week, uh, a bright Monday morning. And I'll just see you in my next video. Remember to subscribe to this channel. My name is Shiyu. Hope you have a great night. Bye.